In this video, we would be doing part D of question number 4.7, which says at the point where Harry is consuming 5 units of corn chips and 2 units of french fries, how many units of corn chips would he be willing to trade for 1 unit of french fries? Whenever we are talking about how much the consumer is willing to trade one good for another, then in economic terms, we are talking about MRS or your marginal rate of substitution. So let's quickly revise what do you mean by MRS. Your MRS measures the slope of indifference curve at a given bundle of goods. It can be interpreted as the rate at which the consumer is just willing to substitute a small amount of good 2 for good 1. One. In the previous part, we drew this indifference curve where uh, Harry has the indifference curve which looks like this purple line and black line corresponds to the locus of all the combination where 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 2x2 plus x1 and this upper part of the line had the equation of 2x1 plus x2 and this had the equation of 2x2 plus x1. Now we know that Harry is consuming 5 units of corn chips and 2 units of french fries. So let's first calculate the utility at 5 comma 2. We know for Harry the utility function is of the form of u of x1 comma x2 is equal to minimum of 2x1 plus x2 comma x1 plus 2x2. Let's calculate the utility at the consumption bundle 5 comma 2. So for that all we have to do is to substitute the values of x1 with 5 and x2 with 2. So let's do that. That would be minimum. This is your utility evaluated at the consumption bundle 5 comma 2. So this is your minimum 2 multiplied by 5 plus 2 comma 5 plus 2 multiplied by 2. So that is minimum of 10 plus 2 which is 12 and 5 plus 4 which is 9. So the minimum of 12 and 9 is 9 as 9 is lower of the 2. So this is your 9. So we have utility evaluated at the point 5 comma 2 is 9. Now that means this line this upper part of the indifference curve has the equation of 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 9 and the lower part of the indifference curve has the equation of 2x2 plus x1 is equal to 9. And if you plot the point 5 comma 2 which would lie here the one represented by a black dot. So what do you mean by that? It means when the consumer is consuming 5 units of corn chips and 2 units of french fries, then he is getting the utility of 9. But he would be at this segment of the line. That means at 5 comma 2, the utility, if I write in general term for Harry, it would look like this. The utility of x1 comma x2 is equal to 2x2 plus x1 and now if this is the equation of your final utility curve at the consumption bundle 5 comma 2 now the question asks us how many units of corn chips would he be willing to trade for one unit of french fries that means the question is asking us to calculate the mrs at the consumption bundle 5 comma 2 now at the consumption bundle 5 comma 2 your utility is taking the value of 2x2 plus x1 which is a straight line and since it's a straight line it will have a this your slope would be same throughout this segment of the line where your utility is taking the form of 2x2 plus x1 and since mrs is nothing but the slope of the indifference curve so all we have to do is just find the slope of this line which has the equation of 2x2 plus x1 which is 2 so at the point where Harry is consuming 5 units of corn chips and 2 units of french fries, he will be willing to trade 2 units of corn chips for 1 unit of french fries. So the answer to this question would be 2. Now let me quickly give you a summary of what I have done. So there are two approaches to this. I have combined the two approaches so that you can visualize it and see it mathematically. Let me split it up for you and tell you if you're doing through a graph or if you're doing through maths. So let's first come to the graph. You have to first draw the indifference curve for the consumer and then see where the consumption bundle is lying. If it is lying in this segment of the indifference curve or in this segment of the indifference curve. Here it was lying in the lower segment which had the equation of 2x2 plus x1 is equal to 9. The question was asking us to calculate the MRS that means the slope of the indifference curve and here when we found that the consumer is consuming in the lower segment of the indifference curve that means now your final utility would be this instead of this entire expression and all you have to do is just find the slope. 
which is 2. Now let's come to the math. We first calculated the utility at the point 5 comma 2. Our utility came out to be 9 which corresponded to the segment of the interference curve of x1 plus 2 x2. So if I generalized I found that at 5 comma 2 my utility is 2 x2 plus x1. Now at 5 comma this is the equation of my final utility curve and now the only thing left for me to do is just find the MRS of the utility function which was 2 in this particular case. Here it came out to be a constant but in case you have any variables in your MRS expression then you can just substitute the values of the consumption bundle at which you are calculating your MRS and get your final result. So that was all for this question.